Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you and the ranking member for your leadership on setting up this uh, hearing today in this investigation, and thank you to the witnesses. Um, Colonel uh, Christopher Paris, uh, I think the com commander of the overall Pennsylvania State Police, testified before the Committee on Homeland Security a few weeks after the events in Butler and a few weeks before this task force was formed. Uh, that a photo was taken of the shooter with a rangefinder actually actively ranging the podium. He, was fur he further testified that that image was texted to a, a PSP officer in the control center and showed to the U.S. Secret Service approximately 10 minutes before President Trump took the stage. Uh, can you, Lieutenant Harold, confirm that that testimony is accurate to your understanding? I have, I have no knowledge of the image prior to or during the day of July 13th, so I can't answer to that. Like if, if, it, was, if it came up in the investigation, I, I had nothing to, or I have no working uh, knowledge of the investigation, just the events that took place that day on the 13th. You were on the ground there that day. So yes, this was reported to us in, in committee and under oath. I mean, you, you know Christopher Paris, good man. I do. Your boss. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, uh, you've been made aware. I know uh, my colleague, Mr. Walsh, talked about the intel. Uh, apparently, the, the additional intel was received about 21 days before the event. Uh, it was reported, as I understand it, to the Trump detail seven days before the event. Considering this heightened intelligence, you think allowing President Trump to take the stage after an image of an individual ranging the podium with an optical rangefinder is received 10 minutes before was a good idea or a bad decision? Well, I don't know if the detail leader was told about that image being received. Had the detail leader been told about PCP, that? PCP, uh, PSP guy says it was shown by, uh, on a text, the phone said, here, this is, this, this is the image of the guy, somebody ranging the target. Yes, Mr. Green, I understand that, but that may have been someone in the security room, and that wasn't transmitted to the detail leader. I don't know if it was. So I, I, I'm just asking, can any, well, let me ask this question. Is it, like, if, if any Secret Service agent is aware of something like that, can any Secret Service agent go, hey, whoa, whoa, stop, we don't need to let the president on the stage? Absolutely. Okay, that Absolutely. didn't happen. Okay. Um, but primarily it would be the detail leader's responsibility, but any agent could step in if he or she thinks it's an, an immediate emergency. Okay, good. Commander Lentz, you mentioned that the local law enforcement activity fired the first shot. Is that correct? That, that I maybe hit the, you mentioned maybe that he withdrew. What, do you think he was hit, or, or do you think he just sort of ducked because he was taking incoming fire? Uh, in speaking with the officer that fired that shot, he's very confident that his round was on target. And the way he described him, it wasn't a duck. Is the doctor uh, still available and online? Yes, I am. Were there, were there two bullet wounds in this individual or just one, the headshot? No, it was just the one. Okay. I, I just found it interesting that when we were briefed by the FBI, we didn't get told about that shot taken by the local guys. Uh, Lieutenant Harold, did Secret Service... The shooter apparently had, had the gun stored somewhere, as I understand it, on, on, near the AGR building. Did the Secret Service use canines, canine teams to clear the, the site prior to the event that day that you're aware of? Is that a question for me, sir? It, Lentz or uh, you, sir, Commander yeah. Lentz? Or I'm not aware of any canines clearing the area of the AGR international property. Uh, we were told that K-9 units would clear the farm show ground. So, to me, I'm thinking inside the fence line at, I believe, 1,100 hours that day. Are, are you aware that that happened, that either of you, that that, that did occur? You I saw know dog? my officers did report that there were uh, dog teams in the same barn as okay, that. Okay, very good. Um, so, uh, you were testifying earlier, Com Commander Lentz, uh, did I understand you correctly that you're, you're the leader of the local law enforcement on the ground there, right? Uh, just the tactical units. Okay, uh, the tactical units. The first time you talked to Secret Service that day was when you needed them and you called them? Correct. Did anybody check in with you to make sure your guys were in the right place for the event? Uh, they did not check in with me, but I did They know. did not. Let me make sure I got this correct. 
the, the U.S. Secret Service is about to pull a security detail around a president at an, at an event with a lot of people and a lot of risk, with a heightened risk from an international threat, and they didn't even check in with you to make sure your guys were in place and ready to go? Correct, not with me. And you're the leader of, a, of one of the tactical units covering this and, and had responsibilities on this site? Yes. I find that unbelievable. Um, let me ask this question uh, to, to both you guys, uh, Commander and, and Lieutenant. What authorities did the U.S. Secret Service give you in the event that you saw someone with a weapon or, I mean, did you have authority, first shoot authority, or, and was that very clear what you were to do under the circumstances if you saw an active threat like that? They didn't provide any guidance to us. However, our, our standing orders with our team. Uh, so you were using threat. your protocols for that. Okay. Correct. If it's a deadly threat, uh, they do not need permission. They're they're permitted to immediately take action. What about a threat. step back from that? You got a guy like with an optical rangefinder ranging a target. Did they give you any directions on what to do in those circumstances? They did not. How about you, uh, Lieutenant Harold? Yeah, I think the same thing with protocol. If we saw a threat, we would we would engage. Um, when it comes to the rangefinder, I had no knowledge of that that day of. During the same time frame, we were investigating two additional suspicious people that were on the fence line. And when I, earlier when I said I was behind the stage, I had those two people in sight, and I was trying to get uh, troopers uh, to the location there for post five because he had saw what he reported as suspicious activity on the fence line. So we were also looking at that at about if, hearing the time frame, like about the same time that. This information was coming in with uh, for crooks as well. Well, I just I will end right now just by saying thank you for the the work that you do. We as veterans uh, uh, deeply appreciate the, the needle in the haystack that you guys have to have to live to to find. And thank you for what you do. Really appreciate it.